Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of What's for Breakfast? And I normally have noodles for my breakfast and I'm gonna give this brand a try. I think I've actually tried this in the um in the packet in the um the ramen noodle pack that you have to cook on the stove and this one's in um this one's in a bowl big bowl it's by Samyang hot chicken ramen flavor ramen. It's got the little little guy laughing and um, so we got the little chicken on there. This is um, I don't know, 425 calories and 900 sodium from what I can tell and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna see. I don't know if it's got a pack. I think it's got a packet and you have to Yep, you have to add the packets to the mix. And then we've got um, two packets. One's gonna be the flavoring and one's gonna be like flakes, I guess, slices. And so what I'm gonna do is, um, I've boiled up some water and I'm gonna follow these instructions like it says on the, um, yeah, lift off the lid and then place the boiling water to the inner line, drain all the water, liquid, drain, oh, so you're, oh, okay. And take out the sauce packets. Pour the boiling water to the inner line and cover for four minutes. And then drain off the water and put the liquid in, put the flakes on the top and mix well. Okay, so. Do what they say. <laughs> All right. There's a fill line here. It's about like right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with um, some boiling water. Let it sit for four minutes. And then I'm gonna drain it. So this one's a little bit different than the regular um, soup bowl. So yes, go ahead and let it sit for four minutes. Then I will drain it. Then I'll be back in four minutes. And I'll add the um, liquid and the flakes to it and then stir it. I guess they don't want you to have as much um, liquid. It's not really a soup. It is the, more like the noodles. So it kind of along the line of what you're supposed to do on the stove. You're supposed to cook it, then drain off the water, and then mix it in a bowl. So, all right, I'll be back in four minutes. After I've drained this and I'll add it, see how hot it really is. So stay tuned, I'll be back in four minutes. Okay guys, so it's been about four minutes. Um, the one thing I did notice, I didn't, <laughs> didn't look real good. Right here on the edge, there's little holes that you can um, poke on, on there. You can poke the holes through there. And then that's what you use to drain it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain it out of the out of the holes in there. And um, then I'll add the sauce. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm back guys. Went ahead and drained it out of the water. I'll take the lid off, make it a little bit easier to work. And you can see the holes in there and that used to drain it. I'm gonna add the sauce packet and then I'm gonna add the other one, the flake packet. I can get them open without making too big a mess. There we go. All right, yes. So this is the hot sauce. It's gonna be really, really hot. Kind of like blood. You can see it, <laughs> bloody. Um, it's just a liquid hot sauce to it. Like the two-time hot sauce that they have. And they, they've actually got a two-time hot sauce packet. I don't know if I wanna try that again. This is gonna be hot enough, I think. Kind of trying to retire from that 
super hot stuff. All right, so getting a little bit of that, um, all that um, sauce out of there. And so I get that. Add the, this is like, I guess, seaweed flakes and sesame seeds or whatever um, goes on top there. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of um, seaweed flakes, toppings, I guess, for it. Yeah, sesame, looks like um, a little bit of nori flakes, stuff like that. All right, so you guys go. There's the noodles. I'm going to go ahead and give this a nice stir, get it all incorporated. Get that uh, hot sauce incorporated through the noodle. I can already smell that, the hotness. That one. Um, well, yeah, I'm reminiscent of those uh, 2X hot noodles. Now that one, that was like super duper hot. And um, this has no water in it, no sauce. It's just going to be that sauce and flakes that they've got. You can see how the noodles have kind of <laughs> cooked up. They're nice and um, done. Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I guess that's why there's not so much um, salt and stuff in it. It was just mostly in that sauce packet. And now if you really don't want that, you can add just your own stuff or just put the flakes and you know, maybe put your own soy sauce or, or no sauce or lemons, lemon juice or whatever. If you don't want to have that super hot thing, you can add just broth to it or... Um, you know, your own seasoning if you don't want anything of the hot. But like I said, this is going to be the hot chicken. <laughs> and um, hopefully not too hot. So here we go, guys. Samyang hot hot chicken flavored ramen in the big bowl. And um, hopefully it's not too hot. All right, here we go. Okay. Get this taken care of. All right. All right, here we go. Noodles. Noodles for breakfast. So here we go. The hot chicken noodles, some young noodles. All right. Now that's pretty spicy. I'm tasting a lot of that spice. It hits the back of my throat. <clears throat> the noodles themselves are very good. I like the texture on those noodles. They're a little bit better than like cup of noodle noodles or the instant Marachan ones. I don't know. <clears throat> the way they make the noodles, um, the blend in there, they're a little bit more flavorful. Uh, that hot sauce is a little bit hot. Uh, hotness scale of 1 to 11. That's about an 8 or a 9. It is pretty dang hot. Just for that one. It's not the hottest one, but it is pretty hot. <clears throat> Be very careful. <laughs> Take a little bit at a time. Still getting a little bit of burning in my mouth. Um, but the flavor itself is actually pretty good. Mm. Oh. If you could handle a little bit of heat, yeah, that would be the good one to go. I would not suggest the two times noodles. That's too hot. The flavor kills. <coughs> flavor kills your taste buds, and then us, you're not tasting anything. The flavor doesn't come out. <coughs> if you eat this a little bit at a time, um, I think you're okay. Uh, I would not eat this all the time. It is fairly spicy. <clears throat> I don't know that I want to um, have this every day of the week. It's like once an occasional, <clears throat> occasional to kind of clear your palate. <laughs> I 
I don't think you want to recover too much out of this one, but it's not bad. Certainly the two times it was way hotter, almost unedible, <clears throat> but this one's actually pretty good. So for that, the Samyang hot chicken flavor noodles, I'll give that an eight, eight out of 11. It's decent. It's not too terribly hot. It's very flavorful. It's got a good kick to it. And, um, it is a good, <laughs> it is a good, wow. It is a good noodle. So if you can handle a little bit of heat, <laughs> makes you sweat and you want to get <laughs> a little bit of heat rush, go ahead and give one of those ones a flat, uh, try. Like I said, it is really hot. It does open your sinuses and it will get your circulation going. So if you want to try that, uh, go for it. Samyang has got a lot of different flavors. They've got hot chicken. They've got the two times. I think they got a cheese chicken. They got a kimchi. They got all kinds of different ones. So if you want to be a little bit daring, a little bit bold, and you want to tempt fate, give this one a try. Like I said, it's fairly easy. It's one step up from, you know, the regular cup of noodles or, you know, marichon or instant noodle soup thing. <clears throat> Makes it a little more interesting. So anyways, there you go. That's what's for my breakfast. And um, hopefully maybe you will adopt um, noodles for breakfast as well. I don't know. It's just an easy thing for me to do in the morning. All you have to do is boil the water and go from there. So anyways, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell right over there. That way you won't miss any future content or if I go live, you'll miss the fun. So until next time on Drew's Food Reviews, <clears throat> and I'll be trying something hot and spicy for you, I'm going to finish my breakfast off and go on with the day. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.